Korean War broke out on June 25, 1950. It was the first military action of the Cold War. The conflict between two opposite ideologies, communism and democracy, led to a horrific battle on the Korean Peninsula which resulted in the deaths and missing cases of nearly 654,317 of the South Korean population and about 450,742 injuries. North Korea had been prepared for this war ahead of time, broke into South Korea with 200,000 communist troops supported by the Soviet. The North Korean troops crossed the Amruk River. Within four days, South Korea's capital, Seoul, was taken over by enemies on June 28. South Korea owned fewer tanks and less than 10,000 soldiers who were to keep the general security for the nation. North Korea brought 242 tanks with 100,000 soldiers. Unprepared South Korean civilians hurriedly fled to Busan. Leaving their home behind, civilians headed to the southern regions of the country. About 100,000 people got separated from their families and up to as many as 10,000 children became war orphans. Student soldiers were 13 to 18 year old teenagers that volunteered to fight in the Korean War. After a majority of the South Korean army passed away in the first few battles, the government decided to get young male students to fight in the war. Almost 30,000 or so boys were pushed into the war wearing heavy arms instead of books or pens and wearing their school uniforms. The A letter was found in the pocket of a student soldier named Yu Gun, which was written for his mother and explained his emotions throughout the war. A majority of them did not even learn how to shoot a gun. Everything happened in a flash by the time most of South Korea was already invaded by North Korea. Only 10% of South Korean land was left, despite the endless deaths of Korean soldiers and student volunteer soldiers. The 
The most powerful weapon that these students had were not their rifles or grenades, but the courage that lived in their young hearts. The courage to fight against the enemies and the bravery to sacrifice their lives for the country. Kudin 정식 후퇴를 하고 얘들이 거기서 막는 거라. 그 막으면서 하다 보니까 그한 여섯 일곱 시간 막는 동안에 한, 한 목에 한한 오십 명이 가까이 한 목이 못 살았어. Instead of combat uniform or helmets, student soldiers fought the battles in their student uniforms and caps. Rather than wearing army badges, student soldiers wore student volunteer badges and belts that displayed the South Korean flag. Without training for shooting skills, student soldiers were put into the front lines of the battle formations, mainly to earn time for the irregular armies to prepare for the battles or retreat from the war sites. The North Korean Army, 766 Guerrilla, was pushing through the last lands of South Korea in August 1950. They marched towards Busan through Pohang, in which the South Korean Army had left with only 71 young students to stop their advance. This battle was called the Battle of Pohang Girls Middle School. The battle took 11 hours, and those 11 hours gave time for South Korean civilians to escape to a safer place. It allowed the 3rd Division of the South Korean Army and the American troops to prepare for a counterattack. 47 students out of 71 students died in the Pohang battle. 14 of the 47 bodies were found on the battlefield. The regions on the east of the Nakdong River was invaded by the North Korean troops. 